It's the analytics demo from the Microsoft Roadshow. So we've talked about the Microsoft solutions and the Citrix solutions, both in the cloud and, and in Azure, and how they've kind of married together. And, and the final point that really brings this whole story together is really around the analytics. See, as users start to leverage the workspace and they are accessing their resources and their, you know, their applications and, and their data through that workspace platform, we now can start to gather data about what an end user is doing in their their day to day behaviors, and we can start to apply machine learning and analytics uh, on top of that to understand what a user's behavior typically is and when they deviate from that. But what's even more interesting is by leveraging this partnership that we've developed with, with Azure and what it brings to the table, we're also able to pull in data from the Microsoft Security Graph components of, uh, of Azure. So I'm going to scroll down here and take a look. You can see that as the analytics are doing their thing and, and we're capturing this, this posture about a user, we can start to apply some some risk scores as to what a user's behavior is and isn't and when things become an issue we can start to elevate that risk score so you'll see these risk scores uh, that that the 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 engine has determined hey there's there's something about this user's behavior that that has elevated so I'm gonna take a look at Kevin here because he's kinda new on my risky users list so I'm gonna click in here and just to make sure I'm getting the full picture I'm gonna go back and and show the last day and as you can see in here, we're starting to gather some data about what this user has been doing. And so we're, we're, we're seeing, hey, the, you know, notice here we had some logon failures. So we can actually see, you know, he attempted to log in, tried to get access. And, and between that time frame, that, that 15 minute window there, we had 10 different logon failures. One, you know, weren't able to find the user. Login not permitted, you know, a bad password. So we're seeing all of these attempted uh, connections and the different issues that are coming out of them. Then we can see here in our uh, that our, our file train our file platform, the content collaboration has has pulled in data about this end user attempting to pull in data and download it or upload it in this case. So so we can see that we're seeing a bunch of uploads. Well this might be you know a, a scenario where a you know, a piece of malware has gotten into the user's environment and has started to go and maybe do like a ransomware attack where we're starting to push data back up into the content collaboration platform that's actually been overwritten with junk, right? So we're starting to see those kinds of things. Then we notice that there's some excessive file access. The DLP side of the solution has tried to, or has shown that we've got some sensitive data in some of these files that have started to be pulled out, which is, you know, not normal again for this user because we're seeing that user's behavior on a regular basis. We're starting to to notice, hey, this this is a, a, an abnormal scenario. Then of course we've got some anonymous access uh, from our access, for, rather I should say, from anonymous IP addresses in this case. And you'll notice right here, detected by the Microsoft Active Directory. Right, so we are actually pulling this from Microsoft Security Graph. We're pulling this data in, and we can now add that to the user's risk score. So in this case, we we took the action to say, look, we see this user coming in. Maybe this user isn't somebody we want to immediately block. Maybe this is a a critical care nurse living you know, that's in the ICU, and if we were to just completely lock them out, well, that might affect patient care. So we, we don't want to completely block them, but we are going to start session recording, right? So we, we kick off this automation to tell, go start session recording. Then we see another process escalation attempt to happen, right? And this, again, coming directly from the Microsoft Security Graph. So we're pulling that data from Microsoft in here, and we're adding that to this user's risk analysis. So these are external feeds that are being pulled in. So now with, with this integration, we can start to, to have a holistic picture of, of the access to resources a user has in Azure, as well as what we see from a end user's access perspective into the resources that Citrix is front-ending. Again, bringing that story together about 
understanding what a user is doing and when their behaviors make a change that we need to act upon, we can start to take action or start to at least notify people when something is going wrong.